One of the great mysteries of the appliance industry is that in the past 20 years, almost all ovens that have been sold feature convection and traditional cooking modes. However, you'll very rarely find a recipe that references convection cooking. How did we get there? Most recipes simply state, preheat the oven to the desired recipe temperature. Now, if your oven has three modes of cooking or maybe 11 modes of cooking, you have to make some choices. Now, of course, there is the user guide that does explain the different cooking modes in great detail, but sometimes it's really helpful to see a practical demonstration of those modes in action to really understand them. In this video, I'm going to explain the benefits of cooking with convection and give you some simple tips for successful convection cooking. Once you better understand convection, then you'll know which mode in your oven will be most suitable for the recipe that you're cooking. You'll get great results with all your oven cooking and you'll be amazed at the difference when you use convection. A convection oven features three heating elements. In the rear of the oven, we have the convection element and the convection fan. These are behind the steel plate in the rear of the oven. There are openings around the sides of the steel plate that allow the heated air to be forced in a circular pattern around the oven, cooking the food from the edge to the center. In the floor of the oven underneath another steel plate is the bottom heating element, often referred to as the baking element. In the top of the oven, we have another heating element. This element is used in some modes for browning and when you broil, this heating element comes on at maximum intensity to give you the best results for high temperature broiling. So what are the benefits of cooking with convection? Well, because convection circulates heat around, heated air around the oven, you can cook on multiple racks at one time. So you can bake several racks of cookies at one time or you can cook a complete meal at one time and there'll be no transference of flavour. So yes, you can mix up a little fish there with the veggies and the meat. The other great benefit of convection cooking is moisture retention. When you cook foods in convection, they retain much more moisture and they have better flavour and better texture. The other great aspect of convection cooking is that large cuts of meat such as prime rib and turkey cook much faster in convection. You just need to get the meat on a rack in a shallow pan. That way you don't have the meat directly on the pan having all the moisture leached out of the, the meat and the air, heated convection air can circulate evenly around the turkey, pushing it from the edge to the center and in no time you'll have a delicious turkey. Best thing of all, there's no turning and there's no basting. And because of the moisture retention, you really don't need to brine your turkey. However, if you're looking for a specific flavor, then of course, that can be achieved through brining. So let's recap the basics of convection cooking. When you bake in a convection mode, always reduce recipe temperatures by 25 degrees. And if you're baking in a glass dish, it's advisable to reduce the recipe temperature by 30 degrees. When you're roasting larger cuts of meat, you'll get best results if you place the meat on a rack in a shallow pan. And if you're cooking smaller cuts of meat, fish or vegetables, those do well on a rimmed baking sheet. In our next video, I'm going to show you how to take advantage of one of the best features of convection, and that is cooking a complete meal in convection. It just takes a little thinking and planning, and then the magic happens.